about okay. 1 o'clock. This is plot 51, and uh, the original is a short PVC, uh, about one inch in diameter. This is about two and a half inches in diameter. Sharpen the pole, and uh, I'll put this on it and drive that down. And then we have a uh, ribbon that goes on that and then we hang a ribbon to show uh, where the location of the pole is. And then the other indicator of the trees or of finding the plot is you see the uh, aluminum tree tags and they're all facing the plot. In this case there's like 11 trees that are within this 26 foot circle. And what we did also was measure the distance and azimuth to each of those trees just to help find the trees and we found that a problem on plot three when we did that how do you locate the trees so we've taken information on where the tree is from the plot and recorded that this time and then the last thing we do is face north and take a picture uh, so that it's when the uh, in the set of pictures uh, for each of the uh, plots Hi, we're here today. This is Forest Stewardship Committee uh, reporting. We're here today with Marth Christensen to the right and Dave King to the left. And they're out here at one of the plots and we'll, we'll watch what they do. And we're, we're down here by Duck Lake near the trail, Southern Trail. Dave, uh, I was wondering, with, with you guys out here doing this work, uh, what do you hope to be the outcome of doing these stakes, pounding these around in, in the different plots? What, uh, what's the purpose of it? So we're trying to make it possible to collect information that will be useful for the RCA in making more informed decisions about forest health and wildfire mitigation. So we did the first forest inventory in 2013, a student from uh, Green River. Uh, did the inventory. So they're the ones that laid down a grid about every 200 feet and out in the forested area, set up the plots uh, and came, visited each site, took an inventory of the trees, what kind are they, how big around are they, how tall are they, and then five years later in 2019 we repeated that. So what we're getting is the change over time, how much trees died, uh, how did they grow? Did they grow as much as they should have? And doing that sort of analysis. So that's what we're using to get information on the health of the, of the forest. In, in the deep forest, that, in, that it's exactly what you need. You gotta have GPS to find the stuff or you'd never, never find mm -hmm. it. Except in the old days they did it without. Some Okay. 13 feet. Okay, tree 15 is 13 feet. And the angle? Azimuth is 295. 